Let us try examples on the flank sections. The question asks us to determine the moment resistance of the T section shown in the figure here. The width of the flank is 800 mm. The thickness of the flank is 150 mm. The depth of the sections is 420 mm. And the tension reinforcement bar provided is 1470 mm square. It is given that the steel strength is 500 newton per mm square and the concrete strength is 25 newton per mm square. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first you need to draw the stress plot diagram. For simplicity, you may first assume that the stress plot depth lies within the flank and the reinforcement is strained to yield under the ultimate limit state. These assumptions need to be verified at the later stage of the analysis. Assuming the stress plot lies within the height of the flank, that means your S here has to be less than the height of the flank. With that, the stress plot is drawn at the maximum compressive stress equals to 0 0.567 FCK, which is the design strength of the concrete. And the resultant force due to the concrete is actually the multiplication of 0 0.567 with the S here and also the width of the flank. The forces due to the tension steel bar is given here. Based on the principle of static equilibrium, the compressive force due to the concrete will be equal to the tension force due to the steel, as given in these equations. The equations for the compressive force of the concrete is given here, while the equations for the tension steel is given here. It is basically in the functions of FYK divided by partial factor of safety for the steel multiply the area of the reinforcement bars. In these equations, you need to find the S. S is found to be equals to 56 mm based on the solutions from the equation here. The S is found to be smaller than the HF 150. That means this assumption that the stress plot lies within the flank is valid. Next, you need to calculate the lever arm. The lever arm is determined by minusing the D with half of the height of the stress plot, as given in this equation. It is later found to be 392 mm. The moment offered by the sections is given by the compressive force of the concrete multiplied the lever arm, as given in this equation. Substitute the relevant value, you obtain the moment resistance equals to 249 kN. From the calculation step here, you first assume that the stress plot lies within the flank. Later, based on the equations of static equilibrium, you find your S to be less than the height of the flank. That means your assumption is valid. However, if you find the S is actually greater than the height of the flank, that means you need to reconstruct the stress plot diagram prior to finding the moment for the questions. This will be discussed in the following videos.